Hi everybody, welcome to the Planet 46 Comics Podcast. I'm Matt Price, I'm here with Hawkeye Kyle Roberts. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of ironic you said that. Hawkeye is actually going to be appearing in Thor. Yeah, according to Splash Page, before he appears in Avengers, you'll see Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye in the Thor film. What else is going pretty, on this week? Pretty awesome. We have a $100 giveaway. Whoa! Whoa $100! And uh, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> we're also talking about the new Wonder Woman, Woman costume. Yep. And just yesterday, they announced uh, Justice League film is in the works. So first thing off, uh, readers of the Nerdage blog and watchers of the Planet Forty Six show, you could win an art print valued at up to a hundred dollars from AllPosters.com. Just stick around; we'll tell you how. They're launching a new collection based on the Archie comic book characters. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So either old school stuff like 50s, 60s style mm-hmm. Archie or even the modern stuff where they've got sort of the Twilight parodies and <laughs> you know President Obama covers and different things. So wherever in your personal style, uh, they've got uh, stuff that as low as $19.99 for posters up to $125 for the oversized wall murals. This is at allposters.com slash Archie Comics. It's pretty awesome. I think I'd go with the 50s style. 50s style. Yeah, <laughs> the old school stuff is pretty cool. Um, so you want to win a code worth up to $100. All you got to do is answer our question of the day. That's right. And that is, who is your favorite Archie character? Maybe it's Archie. Could be Archie. Could be... <laughs> Maybe it's Jughead. Jughead, Betty, Veronica, Moose. There you go. That's about, that's about all I know. <laughs> um, Pop Tate. Who owns the chocolate Pop shop? Tate, chocolate shop guy. Yeah. Uh, Forgot Midge, about that guy. Reggie Mantle. So yeah, just leave a comment below and you can win up to $100 in Archie gear. Wow, awesome. Decorate your walls in style. <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of some decorations, uh, they've kind of adjusted, uh, tweaked a little bit the costume of Wonder Woman. That's right. And the first picture, you know, is released. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it looks real similar, but she had blue boots. Yeah. It didn't, didn't really, wasn't really feeling the blue Some boots. people didn't like it. Adrian Palicki, <laughs> formerly Friday Night Lights, is starring in the Wonder Woman show, uh, being produced by David E. Kelly. And it was very shiny and very tight. Yeah. Um, some people said she maybe looked a little more like a Wonder Woman exotic dancer than a superhero. <laughs> it um, kind of, it kind of did. It kind of looked like a <laughs> party, party, you know, Halloween costume yeah. versus Wonder Woman's costume. So they've tweaked it, and they haven't officially released photos, but there's some uh, on the internet. We've seen them at Entertainment Weekly, at Daily Mail. And some Mm -hmm. other places of her in a new costume where the pants aren't quite as shiny. They've got gold stars down the side. The boots are red. A little different look, although kind of still along the same lines. I don't know. I still, I I like it okay. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks a lot like the newer costume where she's Mm -hmm. wearing the jean jacket and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. So I'm expecting maybe to see the jean jacket at some point. All right. Very cool. And then we found out at the Hero Complex Mm -hmm. that... There are plans for a Justice League movie afoot. Warner Brothers president Jeff Robinoff is planning a 2013 release for a Justice League film that would team up uh, many of the franchise uh, characters from DC Comics. Uh, they also said they're going to try to continue Batman once Christopher Nolan wraps up Batman 3 and that mm-hmm. he would remain one as a producer for future Batman films. Pretty cool. So yeah, all together, pretty exciting. Very cool. Um, let's look in the review file. All right, let's start with Amazing Spider-Man 657. And this is continuing from um, Johnny Storm's death. Mm -hmm. Um, And this is just, it's more of a flashback um, than continuing with the series. And it's just, I really, really enjoyed this comic. I enjoyed the art in it. I enjoyed the comedy, Mm -hmm. the humor, the old kind of crazy antics of Spider-Man and Johnny Storm. (laughs) But uh, I just I really really like good it. mix of humor and pathos. Uh, Marcus Martin, mm-hmm. Ty Templeton, some different artists worked on it. Dan Slott continuing his run, uh, very much about the relationship between Spider Man and Johnny Storm, mm-hmm. and then how will that relationship uh, you know translate to his relationship with the Fantastic Four as a whole? Very cool. Next, Captain America number six. 16. 16. This, is a, this is a thick issue. It is the 70, 70th anniversary of Captain America, so exactly. it is a uh, extra-sized issue uh, with a lot of artists in it, uh, including Ed McGinnis. Um, Travis Trez, who does not do a lot of uh, you know panel-to-panel work, is doing the main story here. Really like his work, have for years. Very excited to see him doing a Captain America issue. Uh, so uh, Brubaker and Diodato do a story. Um Really good stuff. I mean, even if you don't like every single art style in there, mm-hmm. there's a lot of different ones to choose from, a lot of different stories. Um, and I liked it quite a bit. The Travis Trez story, kind of the leading contender for me, but it was a great 
epic, you know, Captain America celebration. So if you, you know, saw the trailer last week and getting excited about Captain yeah. America, this is what you want. Right, there you go, boom. <laughs> And then Speaking Wonder, of Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah, 609. This is Phil Hester is writing from the J. Michael Straczynski plots. Uh, Don Kramer is doing the artwork. And we're getting a little more information about the mystery that's been going on since the beginning of this arc. You know, who is Wonder Woman? Why doesn't she remember parts of her past? Uh, we get a little more exploration of that, this issue, and then a big twist ending at the end. So, again, if you're getting geared up for the Wonder Woman TV show, um, you might want to pick you. up this arc. Exactly. Cool. What's your favorite? I am going to go with Captain America. Of course. Yep. And I'll go with Spider-Man. All right. Very cool. So um, come back next week. We'll have more comic book and movie news for you. For Kyle Roberts, I'm Matt Price. Thanks for watching.